right, you need old Kenny. Another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you're turning your bounty. Okay. Michael, Michael, I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. We're gonna find you another yeah. and Who's that green fellow you got there? What's up? I'm Gus. Yeah. It's good to meet you. Come on. Turn in that bounty already. I gotta show you this. So this is where the magic happens, huh? All right, good. Get over here. Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. It's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. I mean, we might as well hear them out, right? I already told him you go. Without even asking us first? No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but the uh, club's a good man. I say we hear him out. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. Our pleasure. Nice view you got up here. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Yeah, they're a human. We're Gatlians. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? A lawless bounty hunter teaming up with a squeaky clean politician. <laughs> really? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Go on, let me take it all in. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Let me get this straight. You're giving this to us for free. Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. That's right. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. 
As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. We appreciate that, pal. If it's okay if I call you pal. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Oh, uh, feel free to stay as long as you'd like. Look at us! And we're back! So, oh, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, and he hooked us up with a way to save humans! God damn! You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you, you might want to hit up Bordeaux's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Don't move, okay? I'll see you later. You were fucking here? I'm serious. No more bounties until you get a jetpack from Mr. Keep. You go there, I'll be here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. They're all sick. The ones in America are going to have a few babies. Up again. <laughs> We're looking for a jetpack. A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Cool, so where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final! Well, I was really kinda hoping we would get it right away. Congrats on your purchase. What a fucking cookie. Over here, I've got some food for ya. Yeah, that's right. Food. I said food. Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on. We're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Sure thing. That was a great transaction of food for money. Goodbye. How's the Michael show going? I hate it. Oh, look at his go! You called and I picked up. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate, Mr. Keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a cat nap in.
sorry, we're gonna find you another body. I promise, okay? Good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Oh, Holy shit, this rules! Two brothers and nice. We, we love shooting guns, but now it's just like, oh, we got the sponsors giving us money, and you know that feels nice because I like money, but I just don't like losing that hat for my soul. Hey Bob, gun shooter Smith, can you, can you shoot this guy? Yeah, but before I do that, can I just say, like, we had months of pre-production and months of planning. Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack bro. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I've fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me. 
Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Don't. Gary, I didn't mean to kill him. It's all right, Jim. It's all so perfect. It's so perfect. Here we are, you and me, just like it was meant to be. Just like old times, the two of us alone, needing each other. I love you. And you love me. Insane. You still don't understand. A moblet! You know it, bud. Where's the rest of your crew? Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. No, 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 hey, no judgment here. Everyone's got their kink. Where can we find them? They're working at Screndel Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful. That place is freaky. Hey, we appreciate it, bud. Gus is in the house. Those killer jetpack skills, bud. Try to get in the area. <laughs> Whoa! Now we're talking. Love that jungle breeze on my face. I can't wait to get back on the ground. <laughs> now this feels like the right way. Trust me, I can just feel it on my skin. Pieces of shit! <laughs> 
club. Zip line, you know how that works. 
So what? We're going to some big science labs like a field trip? Why does this feel like we're going on a field trip? I don't like these vibes. We're here to kill. We're here to maim some G3 dirtbags. If you see any signs here, ignore it. Just focus on the killing. Hello, and welcome to Scranda Labs, only off- Oh, you're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. But, sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're gonna set off the alarm? Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 is coming for me. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Elevators on, enemies coming. You win some, you lose some. Didn't see that coming, huh?
Freakadilia. This to shoot if you're interested. Take a look around this place, you know, see what kind of experiments they're doing here. 